everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I am the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, we're going to be doing my May project pan update. So once again, I haven't used as many products as I wanted to, but I did still use some products. Before we jump in to the progress update, if you are new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell so you can keep up to date with my project pans. I do a project pan update every single month and for the year of 2018, I am aiming to use up $1,000 worth of products in my project pan. And I also on this channel focus on Australian beauty. So if you want to keep up to date with all things new in the Australian beauty industry, then make sure you click that subscribe button down below. So the first update is the products that I haven't made any progress on. And that is all my mini lipsticks as per usual. These are, they're killing me at the moment. They're so frustrating. So that's those ones. A few other ones that I didn't make all that much progress on. And that is my Mary Kay foundation primer. That's purely because this is a brand, brand spanking new tube. And my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I have actually started making a little bit of progress on this tube, which I am excited about, but not really enough to, you know, <laughs> make a big deal about. Then my two nail polishes, this was a bit of a joke this month. I used the red, ready burgundy color once this month and I didn't even bother trying with the other one. I don't know whether this is such a good idea to include these, but I'm going to keep them in there and see if it motivates me to put my nail polish on again. I have no issue with putting it on. It's just the fact it's the taking it off and reapplying that gets me, which my Pantene dry shampoo, this is starting to feel like it's making some progress. I'd say it's about maybe under half half so that one's moving along nicely my two powders the one the bare minerals concealer well rested i did use this a few times this month but not really enough to show any decent progress and then i also have my bobby brown retouching powder once again i used it a few times but not enough to have any great deal of progress show bad to the bronze this yep <laughs> yep i once again I've used this a few times, but it's not showing any signs of progress, which is pretty disappointing. Lip liner, I used it a few times, but yeah, this one, I don't think it'll take me too long to use up once I actually, you know, knuckle down and focus on it. It's just actually doing that. <laughs> That's the problem. The eyeliner that I introduced last month was my Body Shop Black Eyeliner. Now, this eyeliner is so hard. It's actually really quite scratchy on the eyes. So it's kind of, yeah, like it's even really scratchy on the back of my hand when I use it. So I'm not sure whether I should continue using this. I'll keep giving it a decent sharpen and maybe see if in there somewhere is something that's not as hard as this otherwise you know i'll probably still try and use it up though my revlon lip butter this is still not making much progress it's not really something that i gravitate towards because i feel like it makes my lips look really gross when i wear it so that's kind of why this one always is the last thing that i want to put on my lips i also have barely any progress on my clinique chubby stick i feel like i have used this a fair chop this month but it's just not showing any signs of progress so i'm a little bit disappointed about that one as well also my first aid beauty lip therapy has made hardly any progress this month i have only used up from that blue line to the black line the lack of progress this month on this one was only because i got sick and I just felt like this wasn't enough for my really dry, sick lips that I had from like blowing my nose all the time. So that's why I have minimal progress on this one this month. My powder products, so my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick is still basically the same. I am still using this on a daily basis and it is still not really showing any signs of pro progress. It does look like it's got a dip and it does have some signs of wear, but it's still just not... It's not enough. It's not enough. My e.l.f. brow kit is still, it's still hanging in there. I'm still trying to use it up. It's all up on this side here now. So I'm still slowly working away at 
trying to use that up. I don't know how much longer that elf bracket's going to take me to use. It's it's killing me at the moment. I'm really disappointed with it. This is the Laguna Orgasm Duo that I have. Now, my bronzer you're probably not going to be able to see, but it does have some quite obvious dips in certain sections of it and also the orgasm blush definitely has some signs of wear it's not a nice flat pan anymore it's quite chunky and ripply and it looks like i might almost be seeing some pan at some point soon in that orgasm blush so i'm really excited about this one i'm really excited to see some pan with this one my only issue with this because of the size of both of the pans it's quite hard to get a brush in there i use quite a big brush with the laguna bronzer and it just as you can kind of see, it kind of is just getting everywhere on the packaging and it's a little bit frustrating, but what are you going to do? My vanity powder. Now, I did manage to open this up between now and the last update, since the last update, and I have actually made a lot, lot more progress on this than I thought I did. I am also almost at the point where it's going to not come out when I shake this. It's almost at that point where I've got to give it a good, like a good hit on the bottom here to actually get a decent amount of product out in the top cap here. So I'm pretty excited with the progress that I'm making on this and I probably will crack this open again because I actually had to get my, my spatula and scrape down the sides. So I'll probably do that again once I... I don't know, feel like I'm not getting enough product out. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making this one up as I'm going along. My foundation products this month, they're not really making all that much progress because I have to mix the two together and I'm not quite sure I like this combination. I really don't like this Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It just doesn't wear well on my skin at all. It breaks up like you would believe around my chin and like my nose, top of my lip area. So I don't really like how this wears. The color is way too pale for me. So yeah, this one, I'm making all right progress and I, I really, really, really hate this packaging. This packaging is just terrible with this like little stick with a ball on the end. I don't know why on earth they thought that was a good idea. I mean, I'm not going to waste it. It was an expensive foundation, so I'm going to keep powering through and use this one up. And then this Nude Magic Eau de Tint. L'Oreal Paris foundation. I actually used more of this one this morning than I did of this one and I think it lasted longer on my skin than when I've used mostly this one with a little bit of this one. I hope that made sense. So I think I might stick to that ratio. So that's those two. I then have my Too Faced Naked Dolly. This is getting very very close to being finished and I just want this finished I want this finished hopefully that one will be done by the next update I then have my Smashbox full exposure palette now as always I have pan on this one down here but I also have pan on another color this month and another shadow this month and that is this one up here it's only tiny tiny so I don't know whether it's gonna pull up on camera but I really hope it does so you guys can see how much progress I am making with this palette. I am so happy with the progress I'm making with this palette. Lady Gaga perfume. I'm making all right progress with this. I'm using this every day. So I think this one will probably maybe next update or the update after will be finished. So perfumes are always something that I seem to power through in my project pans so that's all my updates now moving on to the products that i have used up i have used up a total of four products this month the first one is the smashbox photo finish primer this one still has a bit of product in it but i just cannot get it out of the tube so i am calling that one done also my mina highlighting pen this one just got to the point where it's not clicking anymore i i think there might still be a little bit of product in there but it just won't click anymore so that one is done. Arbonne Perfecting Foundation this one is also done 
if you take this cap off though there is still a bit of foundation in the tube here but I just I can't scrape it out like I it lasted me probably a good week after it stopped pumping still I got my spatula in there every day and scraped out what was in there but I just can't get any more out with my spatula so that one is done as well and then my last one is a product that I finished up this morning and this is my Tarte lip gloss once again this still has a, a smear of product in it but I just can't get enough out for like a full application on my lips. So I am calling that one done as well. So moving on to the products that I am adding this month. So halfway through the month, because I finished up that Mina highlighter, I actually added in my L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique Stylo Touch highlighting pen. This is another like clicky pen dealio that I have been using for maybe about a week, a week and a half now. So that is that one. And I am also going to add in my MAC Fix Plus that I have. This one is not being added in because I don't like the product. I actually really, really like the MAC Fix Plus. I think it really helps when I over powder and just kind of brings my face back to life and adds a bit of like a nice glow. I'm just adding this in because it's almost to the end of its life. I can't quite remember how long I've had this but I think it's almost to the two year mark so I'm going to try and use this up and then I'll purchase another bottle because I actually really like this product. I just don't want to waste it because it is pretty expensive. I think I think I've managed for once <laughs> to actually mention all the products in my pro tip pen. Sometimes I manage to miss one or two products. So that's it for my May update. I will leave on the screen what I'm up to. Last month I was up to $323.74. So I will leave on the screen what I'm up to after adding in these four products. Next month is June. So I really need to get my butt into gear and try and use up some of these products because I'm not anywhere near close enough to $500 for my liking. And the end of June is six months. So to me, that's Six months means halfway through the year, which means I should be halfway through my thousand dollar goal. Cross your fingers for me that I can use up enough of these products throughout the month of June to reach me to my $500 Goal. So that's it for this video everyone. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like Project Pans and also hit that subscribe button down below if, so you can keep up to date with my Project Pan throughout the year and also up to date on all things Aussie beauty. That's it for this video everyone. Thanks for stopping by and clicking on this video and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye everyone.